Have you ever wondered why, after nearly a century of superheroes, we still care about them? Well, let me unlock the mystery for you. Hey guys, that's right. Today we are talking about The Flash. Definitely one of the highest rated and most watched superhero shows on right now. So, superheroes and The Flash. Why do people care about The Flash so much? There's a bunch of reasons. Um, I could probably spend an hour going over how The Flash connects to real life for a lot of us. But I think the most important aspect is what was actually the finale episode of the first season. But it's been kind of like a thread through line for both seasons is this whole idea of being fast enough. You know, Flash is the fastest man alive, as he says in the opening credits. But his deepest fear has been always, I'm not fast enough. As a kid, I wasn't fast enough. That's the Flash. I'm not fast enough. We saw, um, you know, he was trying to save Iris. And even though that wasn't his fault, it was still his fear being realized of not being fast enough. And as humans, I believe we suffer the same thing. Uh, in particular in America, it's charted out you you know, you go to school, lower grade school, middle grade school, high school, then you go to college, then you get a good job, and somewhere in there you get married and you have kids, and like there's a chart. And if you fall behind that chart, like society kind of looks down on you. Or if you're an entrepreneur and you have great ideas, or you know, if you're a comic book writer, or you're an aspiring comic book writer, and you have great ideas, but you don't follow the system, the system says you're not fast enough. You can't keep up with society. You can't be a part of what we're building. And what that translates into is a case of identity. So now it's not just, you're not fast enough, it's, you're not enough, period. And isn't that what all superheroes go through? I love the conversations between him and Iris, because it's always at his lowest moment. He's like, ah, I'm not gonna be the Flash anymore. I can't do it. Gotta push everybody away. And Iris's conversation is always, dude, Get out of your head. You are enough. You're not trying to be the Flash. You are the Flash. You're Barry Allen. You're not trying to be Barry Allen. You are Barry Allen. You are enough because you are here, because you exist. Barry, what you're seeing is the speed force. Your past, your present, your future, all at once. So you need to focus on where you want to go. And isn't that just like us? Our minds are always going. We can see what's ahead, what's behind us, what's all around. Like, our minds don't stop. Especially if you're a creative type or you have a passion of some sort. Your mind doesn't stop. Always seeing all these different variations of what can happen. But if we don't focus on the destination, we won't get anywhere that matters. And if we're not getting where that matters, we're not walking in purpose. If we're not walking in purpose, then that lie that we are not enough will creep back into our minds and overtake our identity. So we have to focus. Remember, you are enough. I am enough. Barry Allen is enough. The Flash is enough. Iris is enough. She's going through her own transformational journey along that road. Joe is going through all the characters. Cisco becoming Vibe and, and figuring out what that means. Everyone is going through like, I am enough. So now what do I do? When you accept that you already are enough, when you focus on your destination, when you focus on what you want out of life, when you focus on where you're going, that's when you begin to actualize your potential. And that's when you can experience that inner peace. And it's like, I am the Flash. And so his opening credits, I am the Flash. I am the fastest man alive. What's your mantra? I'm Joshua Evans. I am one of the most creative people alive. I am a phenomenal writer. I'm a great blogger. What's your tagline? You need a tagline because you're already enough. So look at your destination, look at where you want to go in life, tell yourself that you're enough, believe it, and then come up with the tagline. When I was a child, I saw my mother killed by something impossible. Then an accident made me the impossible. In a society, in a world, in a job force, in a school, in a creative industry that would seek to tell you that you're not, you have to dare believe the impossible you're enough and that is your greatest strength you can go anywhere when you know who you are